Mason played baseball in high school. He played baseball all his life. And he was stealing second and hurt his knee. It took about six weeks with the constant pain to determine that it wasn't a bruise or a chip or a strain or you know a ligament or, or uh, other condition. The um, orthopedic guys took a look at it, took, did an MRI and took a look at it and saw a tumor. It's cancer. Mason told me he had cancer and I, it was just, I don't know, unbelievable. Cancer, you know, it is, it is a heavy word. I was scared, it just didn't seem real. It didn't make sense, it was not normal. You know, the hardest moment, interestingly enough, um, might be right off the bat because this void of, you know, you don't know where to go. I was definitely initially very scared, you know, until he told me that he was going to be all right. But there's all these, clearly all these questions that go through your head as to how, what does that mean? How is, how is life going to change? It's cancer. You know, I just wanted it to be over. Your focus, your priorities, you're going to do whatever you can for the survival of your child. To, to, there's no, there was no question in my mind that, that we were going to get through this and that Mason was going to survive this. That the second syllable of tumor is your life's different. Your life has changed. Your life is going somewhere you didn't expect it to go. Your life is going somewhere you didn't expect it to go and it's going to um, be forever different. It, it, it doesn't scare me as in fear. It's, it's, I, it's you know what? It's more a hate. It's, I, I despise it. I, I, it's to an aggressive uh, level where I just want to bang the hell out of it. Mason was invited to ride with Lance Armstrong in the Ride for the Roses in 2004. Light bulb started clicking. Here's a young man dealing, had, dealing with cancer, had in the process, wanted to participate in his health, in the cancer community's health. We were going to do something big. We were going to come back to Charlotte from Austin and do something big to help the cancer community. Why not drumming? We're all drummers. And everybody can bang on something regardless of their health. Rhythm was just the, the natural answer. Rhythm is so much a part of us. Heartbeat you know, the cadence of walking, breathing, blinking. We, we have rhythm, we are, we live rhythm. A cancer health expo with music that you participate in. And oh, by the way, when we drum at our Drumstrong events, we drum for crazy long periods of time. Repetitive motion patterns that you create, and it might be simple heartbeat, it might just be. That in itself takes you to another place. Now keep your hands in the air. Keep your hands in the air. You can be sitting in the drum circle and you don't have to say a word. The groove's going. You can look around and you connect and you just look at people. Drumming is something that is more powerful than communicating, more powerful than a documentary or anything like that. When you sit down and drum and have that experience, you're sharing vibrations and they're interacting with other people's vibrations. And that's a healing process. Did you register yet? No. no? A lot okay. of people come to Drumstrong with a, not a great understanding of what it really is, what the whole meaning behind it is. Just put your name on the front line right here. They may not realize the severity of it and the power of it until they experience Drumstrong. When I'm focused at a Drumstrong event and I'm drumming, uh, to beat cancer, it's my therapy. It, it does wonders, it does worlds of good for me, and it does wonders. But at the same time, I know that it's going to, uh, that it's helping, that it's going to a place that, that is viable and valuable. That final moment, the last, you know, the waning moments of the drum circle, which has been going on for over 24 hours each year. That is uh, a feeling you can't describe. You just have to be there. When I either witness or get acknowledgement from somebody weeks, months, a year later that they participated in a Drumstrong event, Drumstrong, two, one, and it 
brought them closer to somebody that they'd lost. Or that it helped themselves through it. It's not me.